Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. How good is that? It is Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Welcome to the Friday Podcast. This is an interesting one today. Mm -hmm. Sleepovers at friends' house, but they're the opposite sex. (gasps) Is that a good idea? I think that's a no-no. But if you're just friends with them, like if we shared a bed, Kate... Why are you doing that? I think, I mean, Tommy and I have shared beds before. I can't see the difference between sharing a bed with you and sharing a bed with Tom. Because you're both girls. Uh, no. Oh, oh, oh we both. Oh, we mm. both pop off all night. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you do. I haven't been there. Um, oh, that's Tom. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. Um, uh, imagine if all of us imagine. had to sleep in a bed. Who oh. would pop off first? Oh, it'd be Tom. It'd be Fitzy. Yeah. It'd be, no, we'd Dutch. be out of there pretty quickly. It'd be quickly. Fitzy. He'd blame Beastie. Or yeah. Dutch ovens are funny. Nah. Nah. <laughs> no, they're not. Bloody hold it down. Uh, hold it down. What? Oh, the doona. Uh, yeah, oh, the, the eider down. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, the eider down. Oh, did you see what yeah, I did yeah, there? That That's very... amazing. Ten it's all in the podcast. And ten little toes. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. We haven't done this for a while, bit of a treat for you. What, 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 what are the chances? What, 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 what are the t- you got a cracker, do you, Fitz, of okay. chance and coincidence? Okay, this is going to blow your mind. Mm. Because when we talk 50-50, uh, the odds are 50-50. What are the obvious ones? What are the main ones? Ones, Tossing right? a like, coin. That's what I want to focus on. This is going to blow your mind. So scientists have tossed 350,757 coins, right? And wow. they did it with different currencies from 46 different countries as well, Kate, right? Mm-hmm. This is to test this theory. Guess what they found out? I did not know this, but what are the chances? After all of this, the researchers found that coins had a 50.8% chance of landing on the side that it started on. So it's not actually 50-50. That's interesting. Very chances. Oh, it's very close. Fitz, I've read a study on this too, and I think they used the 50-cent coin. And I think the 50-cent coin tails dominated by a long shot. Why? Right. I don't know. Is it heavier or something, or is the heads heavier? Don't know, but but, uh, uh, next time you are going into a coin toss with someone, yeah. have a look what they're starting on, and I would go with that. For the point eight, For the point eight percent the odds are in your favour. Wow. <laughs> Smart play. You've learned something this morning. <laughs> Let's go to Amy and Elder Sleep. Um, okay, so I was in uh, my previous job for about 13 years and decided to make a bit of a career change. Yeah. When I got to my new job, started to get to know the ladies I'm working with, and realised I'm working in the same area as one of them, so same suburb. We then got talking about street names and houses, and my current house turns out to be the house that she actually grew up in as a child and a teenager. No way. And for some reason... What are the chances? For some reason the world had brought you together again. Yeah, very strange. Lovely person, but very strange circumstances. Did she give you any stories about when she was living there or anything that happened in the house, Amy, that blew you away? No, not so much not that. Really. Like we've renovated no, okay. since moving in, so it's very different to what <laughs> oh, she grew up in. Yes. Nothing like it. Um, but yeah. she did find a, an old photo of her and her siblings standing out front of our, uh, like our house. Oh, in your front yard, years probably. Years ago. Yeah, yeah oh, in the front yard. Amazing. Oh, well, that would have been special um, to her. Just would have been gone. Well, I've been there before, just yeah. to know that you were there. And uh, well done, Amy. Thanks, Amy. Joel in Blakehurst. What are the what, 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 what are the chances, Joel? Hey guys, how are you doing? Yeah, good, Joel. Good stuff. So, yeah, a mate of mine just recently started uni and he was moving into his, uh, his new dorm room and got talking with his his new dorm mate. Um, mm. And his mate was telling him about where he'd been and, and what he'd been doing. He'd been living in Singapore for primary school and high school and then they started tracking back and they worked out that they actually were best friends when their first day of kindergarten, when they started kindergarten. No they way. Oh. What are the chances? I love those stories. Yeah, I do. Do you know what? I went to Miss Murray's kindergarten, and there's a photo of me sitting next to this girl when I was about three years old at Miss Murray's. I was going to say a 13 years old. No, but I was, no, I was only three, mate. Three-year-old kindergarten. <laughs> I didn't even know. And then I, all of a sudden, I'm out one night, I met this girl, <laughs> and we're chatting away, and somehow we ended up talking about the kindergarten. I mentioned Miss Murray's. It turns out you're not going to believe it. 
You're was, making this up. It was the girl I was sitting next You're to. No, her name up. was Sophie Pellman. And it's the girl I was sitting next to in the photo. And I was like, what's going on? Any relation to hell? We should make Hellman. out. And she said, no, you've just had a sablaki. You've got onion, garlic, breath. And it's like, oh, that's cool. What, um, a, what an amazing story. Why are you telling that story? I was even, gonna, I was even thinking, yeah. you know what the best story I've ever heard on this mm-hmm. segment is my awesome one about me and the, and what she weighed when she was born. Charmaine, Amy, Joel, <laughs> thanks so much for your call. You're on the running yeah. for first class of 50K. Have I told the second yeah, no, name we've heard one it. We've about heard all the of name them. and the birth date we've of the famous movie star? We've heard quick, all quick, of them. Can, we don't have much time. Go. Can you tell it quickly? Do you want the story? Go. Yeah, Yeah, I'd love it. Okay, guess what? <laughs> My daughter's name is May yep. Webb. And she's born on the 17th of August, 2014. Yeah. Well. <laughs> 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 and then, because her, her name, Mae Webb, sounds a bit like the famous movie star Mae West. But it's not. It's not. But I was talking to her about it. And there's yeah. this really famous movie star <laughs> called Mae West. And so I Googled her to try and give Mae some story about the famous movie star that Mae West. That doesn't have West. her name, yeah. yeah. But it sounds the same, very similar. Guess what day was she was born? 17th. The 17th of August, 1893. It's not even her name. It's <laughs> not even her name. And I, the other <laughs> one, in case story. you missed it when I told Best it the first time, it may, it may weigh 2,560 grams when she was born. Mm. And I come from Campbelltown and the postcode is 256. <laughs> You've wasted a minute of broadcasting air time. We could have done anything People with that minute. People love it. Sydney loves we, it. We no, were on track for an acro <laughs> a minute ago and now it's gone. The Fitzy and Ripper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. Hey, guys. Yeah. I need to talk to you about something very serious. Oh, and actually, Sounds I just... Sounds serious. It is very serious. Hey, guys. Um, I just want to know what you might do in this uh, situation. And really, it's about boundaries within a relationship. Um, Fitzy, I kind of know what you're going to say, but I just... <laughs> you're always the the red... Um, the, the, her, the herring. Oh, is that, yeah, is, the red is that what you would call it? The red herring? Oh, he's more of a puffer fish outside. A puffer fish. <laughs> That's a bit rude. Uh, more of a sailfish, like slender, fast. Yeah, dangerous and okay, exciting. Le- okay, Ooh. moving on. The headline is this. My husband likes sleepovers with his best friend. I feel uneasy. Oh, I just hate the word sleepover. Well, sleepover suggests a level of intimacy, No, it, it doesn't. I would no. think sleepover is trying to make it quite casual, like you had sleepovers when you were a kid. The thing is, the husband's best friend is a female and a female <gasps> that he used to go to school with. Oh, no, no. way. Okay. No. Get involved here, guys. Um, this this woman, they, they are married. She just cannot shake these suspicions. Her husband is always texting this old school pal. Yeah. Um, often he spends the day with her and now it has progressed into sometimes staying overnight. I don't know how he excuses that, whether it's, oh, I've had a few too many drinks, it's better to stay over than to drink drive, of course, um, but she just doesn't know what to say. To say. Does she get invited to these? No, because what happened was they had a school reunion after yes. a very long time. He had obviously lost touch with his girlfriend, friend. Yep, yep. I don't know if they dated at high school, but a female friend at school, they were very close. And now his excuse to the n- the new wife is, we're kind of just making up for lost time. It's been so nice to reconnect. Yeah, it reminds don't... me of my childhood. She was always such a good friend and, and is developing into another great friend now and the worst part of this story I think is that when she the wife says look I, I can't I like shake it. it I don't like this uh. he calls her silly and see I don't like Do that mean, because she's say- allowed to feel the way she feels don't say she's silly for having these feelings because I think anyone would yeah feelings are right can I ask some questions here because when you say sleepover to me that means same bed now Tommy and it I is. have shared that's a bed that's what I mean that's sharing a bed right. no it's. I don't think it is Tommy and I have shared a bed yeah in New Zealand and, in Queenstown and I don't really have an issue with that yeah. if you're saying sleepover staying at someone's house I wouldn't care if you stayed over at my house, but I wouldn't share a bed with you. Yeah, but if I stayed at your house, you'd stay Lisa in another bed. And, yeah, and Lisa and the kids would be there. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't like, I'm not just coming out. No, I know. What? But what I'm saying is, there's no. 
do you know what I mean? But there would be no reason for th- for no. that to happen. It just wouldn't be appropriate. But, but no, if we started not. showering separately, would be a good start. Well, it's, <laughs> but but it's, I, I don't. Well, how do you get to a point where you go over to someone's house for drinks and then you go, oh, I've had too many? Can't you get an Uber home or, or a sure. taxi home? You, you don't have to stay over. No, I I, I agree. But I'm trying to think. If, in your world, I might have one or two girlfriends that Lisa wouldn't care if I slept next to in a bed. I've slept I, with male friends. But, in a bed. I wouldn't even put myself in that position. You've no. got other options. Yeah, I know you do. I'm just talking about the hypothetical if you had to share a bed. Would Lisa actually care? I, th- I think she I would, I don't mate. think she would. I think she would. Have you would. ever slept with a different woman in, in like a friend in the in the bed? Absolutely no chance. No, I, knew I would, would feel wouldn't. uncomfortable. Depends who it was. I mean, I've got friends that like I've had who? from Who's a- Eliza would be a great example. Yeah, but a you're, very old friend of when mine. When are you yeah. ever, ever... Going it's to be a in a situation, right, right? So there's Stop no asking. other beds in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a hypothetical. Yeah, but We're it saying would never what, happen. Oh, you're missing it. I think you're missing you've it got, by no, that much. I know what you mean. Yeah, but let's just say you, you had to explain it to Lisa. Yeah, you don't think she would feel no, uncomfortable I don't at all? Think so? Okay, well, keep thinking then. No, I don't <laughs> think she'd really care. And it'd be the same as Tom. I mean, when we woke up spooning, Tom, I was... Well, I couldn't sleep that night because your snoring well, Tom kept me awake all well, night. Well, so Tom just had a T-shirt on and nothing else. Oh, my oh, gosh. It was I... a Lakers, Tom. He was a big Kobe <laughs> Bryant fan. Happening here. I think, it's no, I think it's lovely to be able to have friends yep. of and the opposite sex, all the same sex, depending on, you know, what floats your boat. Um, but... <laughs> Are you looking at Jess the lesbian? You know, I'm just, but, but and he's, why did she he, wink? Can I, <laughs> can I add to this? You have to have safe friends. Can yeah. I add to this? Spooning doesn't have to leave to forking. If you, okay, if you inform your partner that you've slept in somebody else's bed the next morning, I think you've got something to hide. Why can't you tell them before you actually go to bed that well, night? Not there. Maybe you've had a thousand drinks and you didn't 10, mean. No. Nah. Tom's on, Sorry. A te- Tom's on a tequila wag and yeah. he can't get off it. I might take off my second T-shirt. <laughs> you know? oh, 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 it'll classic. still fight its way through. <laughs> the Fitzy and Ripper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. I'm still diving. We're on. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's time for 60 Second Starts. Kate Ritchie's I'm Still Standing. Now. Visit Sydney's ultimate Kia experience dealer, Sydney City Kia, O'Ridden Street, Alexandria. Okay, it's your Friday morning. Jen in Homebush, you're up against Kate Ritchie this morning. 100 bucks up for grabs, but also you are in the running, Jen, for that Kia Sportage Yee. SX Hybrid thanks to Sydney City Kia. You need a new car, Jen? Oh, yes, I do. I sure do. That would be wonderful All if right. I get to win it, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're saving them. <laughs> okay, good luck, Jen. $100 up for Thank grabs. You. you are the guest, so you go first. If you have that power at the end of 60 seconds, you get the cash. You're in the running for the car. Or Kate could jackpot it. Jen, you're 60 seconds. It starts now. now. Who is releasing her 11th studio album today? Okay. Yes. That's an easy one. <laughs> is Artama North or South of the Harbour Bridge? North. It's North. Kygo and Ava Max's Whatever samples what iconic 2001 song? Uh, uh, It's Shakira. Kate, over to you. What channel screens Farmer Wants a Wife, Kate? Channel 7. Yes. What are the three months of winter? June, July, August. Yep. Who did Lana Del Rey bring out as a guest at her Coachella performance? Billie Eilish. Yep. What number does the dollar sign share a key with on a keyboard? Uh, it's seven. No, Ooh. it's four. Over to Jen. I've Jen, no idea. where are the Swans playing against Gold Coast on Sunday? Uh, Gold Coast? Nah, it's Sydney. It's Kate, <laughs> what's the name of Bluey's sister? Bingo! Yes, who's older, Maddie or Andrew Johns? Um, Andrew. No, it's Maddie. Oh! Jen wins. Ken, you've got it. Jen wins. Oh, man. Oh, that oh. was a close one. That was so Kate. close. What, did, what? You know, good for the game, a game like that, oh, isn't great it? great for the game. Great for the game. Everyone's a winner. The game's the winner. Speaking of the Johns brothers. Oh, my God. Jen, you've oh, got $100, you. and you're in the running to win that brand new Kia Sportage. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Oh. Uh, great game, Kate. It was a really good one. Oh, Every yeah. morning, you just... You kill it. Um, uh, I, I love listening to you guys. Oh, so and you, you don't mean just in the game. You just mean on air generally, don't you? <laughs> of course.
<laughs> yes. We love you, Jen. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you. Have a good weekend. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. You know, last year we got Oscar on. Now, Oscar's a 16-year-old lad. I heard him. He was with his brother at a cafe. They were having breakfast together, Kate, and I heard Mm. Oscar talk, and I just, I I knew that he was young. Mm. I said, mate, can I ask you how old you are? He said, "Um, I'm 16 years of age. I said, can you... Well, is there any chance that I could get you a job at Smooth? Because your voice is magnificent. Yeah. 16 years of age, and I got him a job at Smooth. Have a listen to this, Kate. That is Foreigner for your Friday morning. I want to know what love is. Get in line, Foreigner. Don't we all? You're listening to Smooth 95.3, and Hell, I'm Oscar. Mate. Oscar the Grouse. How the grouse. good is that? So that was Oscar there, what? right? Is he Six- really 16? 16 yeah. years of age. That's amazing. So, Huey's got a new footy team, and on the weekend, um, they un- unfortunately went down, but um, he's, the best player that was in the team on the weekend was their captain. His name was Owen. Now, this is under 15s, so you've got to take into consideration that this is a 14-year-old lad. Mm. Owen absolutely dominated the game. He played really, really well, but he gave the boys a bit of a rev up before the game. The v- first voice you're going to hear is Flash, the coach, yep. and Owen is the captain, but you have a listen. This kid is 14. How deep his voice is. Here it is. Look after each other. It's going to be a tough game. You're going to get tested, okay? All right? It's going to test your humility, test your heart, test your head. Don't lose it. Keep it together. All right? Be disciplined. I'll leave you with Owen. All right, boys. This is what we're looking for. Go have a good opening round. Play well. Put your hearts out. Hopefully come out for a win, boys. Let's go. Please, on three. One, two, three, boys. No worries. No worries, huh? He is 14 years of age, Kate, and that was his voice. Mm. Have a listen. Come on, Owen. All right, boys. Oh, this, is, this is what we're here for. Good have a good opening round. Play well. Put your hearts out. Hopefully come out for a win, boys. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. yeah I know. Wait, that was me at the age of nine. I feel oh, sorry okay. for those kids. I, I don't think well, you had a Fitzy deep voice. Well, Fitzy was the like opposite that. because Fitzy didn't develop till he was eighteen. Yeah. Where I was, and I had a mate like Fitzy at school who was the shortest, most under, underdeveloped kid there was. And then I was this giant mm. who had grown so early with so much hair. I don't think you can call people underdeveloped. Why not? Surely there's another word Slow now, like, to develop? like not yet developed. That's fine. Yeah. In, um, Either way, he was bloody small, is what I'm saying, and I was bloody big. <laughs> So that was the problem. So, you know, Owen, what's that guy's name? Was it Owen? Owen, yeah. He might be sensitive to the depth of his voice. Oh, well, it'll, yeah. it'll work for him, but I think. You know it what? all comes out in the wash eventually. Like me. Yeah. Well, he went out there and led the team. He was the best on ground and played really, really well. But that is an amazing yeah. effort. Well done, Owen. <laughs> led the team to a victory. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Taking your calls. What do you want to talk about? What's going on in your world? Gemma in Borkham Hills. Hi, Jim. What do you want to talk about this morning? Hey, guys. I am calling because I am pumped. Um, Taylor Swift. Album's dropping today. Here it I've is. Been up so oh, early. Oh my gosh! Two o'clock today, Jim. <laughs> Two o'clock is there. Oh, I can't wait to you guys play the tracks. I can't wait to hear what it's all about. Uh, and where are you going to be? What are you going to have? You have you got plans for two o'clock? Um, look, I. <sighs> I, I'm a sales rep, so I can make myself okay, in the car great. at 2 o'clock. Yeah. So I'll be, I'll be on. You're going to have to. Or Kate's having a private listening party around at her place. Jem, you've won tickets to come along. <laughs> yes. Jess. Kate's sweet Amazing. seats Jess, on the couch. On the sofa. Give us one of the name of the songs on the play. Uh, what, what's on, what's, what's some name of the songs that so are on So we've got a album? track called Florida. Yeah. Mm. So Long London. Florida. Fortnite featuring Post Malone. Oh, so for, she's a big Fortnite fan. Love. Do you know a lot Fortnite. of people on TikTok... Yeah. Thought that it was going to be about Fortnite, the game. Yeah. It's like you have no reading comprehension. Oh, it's spelled or differently. Is it a song about giving two weeks' notice and, and handing in her resignation? Oh, it could be. You've got, a week. You've got a two weeks to go. My job. Yeah. I've been a checkout chick for three years now, <laughs> and it's time to move on. <laughs> Gonna give a fortnight resignation. <laughs> and See you later. So long. Here, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, long. like it. Geordie and Narrabeam, what did you okay. want to talk about? Very calm. Happy Friday, guys. Just got a quick dilemma. Just calling up. Yeah. Um, so basically, let me try and set the scene for you guys. Um, so my parents like got divorced like last year. Yeah. 
So we all went out, the boys and I were just having a bit of fun on the Tinder Lads. kind of thing. We are just having a scroll through and one of the boys was like, why don't we set the age for like a 40, 50-year-old oh. kind of age bracket? Oh, no, why? Would that be funny, would it? <laughs> <laughs> would, that, would, would that be just a really funny thing amongst all the young boys, would it? Please tell me just, Kate popped having up. Having a few cheekies, having a few cheekies, yeah, still getting a bit silly. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so basically, we're having a scroll through the Tinder, and guess who popped up? Mm, his my mum. Oh. oh no! What did and the how look quick, like? How quickly did you mate swipe right? <laughs> oh my god! We actually went through the photos, and we actually saw some photos of me and my brothers. It was actually quite. Oh, because you're dude. there because she's presenting as a... I mean, at least you were in the photos. Imagine if she pretended she was, like, you know, single, <laughs> yeah. footloose and fancy free without a family dragging her down. Was there an undie shot in it, George? Was she doing the lingerie <laughs> thing? Exactly. Oh, my there God. Do you do that on Tinder? I don't know. Have, you, d- have you approached her about it, Geordie? No, that's, what, that's the dilemma I, was asked, I wanted to ask you guys about was, like... It's kind of like she probably doesn't know what the scene on Tinder is. Like, I don't know if she's, like, going on to, like, try to date someone or try, like, I don't know. Yeah, I, do you know what I think? Uh, my feeling is maybe you should just acknowledge that you know, but in a supportive, yeah, like, support. good on your mum. You just say, hey, mum, just letting you know. Yeah. I like the photos you chose for Tinder. I wish you all the best. Yeah. Like something like that. Because oh. she may not know the scene, but there's probably part of her, if she's been divorced for a year, and I know she's your mum, but she's a, a, a woman too and a human being, and she probably just... Yeah, but not on Tinder. Your mum's... You, yeah, she's worth well, more than okay. Tinder. Okay. What do you mean? That's just, what I mean. It's just a way to find someone. I'm on her profile now, George. I just didn't realise there's a link to her OnlyFans page oh, as well. Now, okay. For the lads. Okay. <laughs> Don't okay, be, mate. Maybe it's, you could suggest other... Dating platform and just say because because of how much respect I have for you, Mum. Now, why don't you check these ones out? Because I don't know if Tinder is the platform. Yeah. What is a mo- it's just that awkward conversation, I guess, having that with her. Yeah, she's all right. It's embarrassing she, for me. Like all, we all the boys was having a chirp, and then oh, that pops up. She's a human, George. Yeah, she is. You got to, you got to, you know, a yeah. little bit of maturity here, mm. a little emotional maturity, Geordie. Good Geordie, luck. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad he was prepared to share that and be honest with us. That's Rebecca hard. and Lane Cove, what do you want to talk about, Beck? Hi guys, I've been a massive fan of the show for so long, and you're always talking about different holiday destinations and where to go. And I'm thinking of taking my first trip with my two-year-old, and I was wondering if you have any suggestions of where to go. Oh, your first step is to go to what if. Do you want to go overseas, Beck? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's a great island in Singapore. It's called Sentosa Island, and it's got, like, Universal Studios. It's got this huge aquarium. It's perfect for kids. Yeah. What if will get you there, actually, cheaper than anyone else? But, yeah, go check it out. That would be amazing for your child. Yeah. Although she's only oh, two, like, so maybe maybe going, maybe doing like a universal. Like you're too small to go on anything. Yeah. Maybe keep it local. Why not something like I don't know, Phillip Island? You could go and see the penguins or something. Fancy that. You could do oh, that. Yeah, that, never been there. Yeah. That might be nice. And you know no. where it's lovely is I think Western Australia is a beautiful oh, destination. Oh, great part of it. Go down to Margaret River. Also, Ibiza's pretty good for <laughs> no. kids these days, Beck. <laughs> no. I'll take it out. I- Beck, I hope we've helped. We need to give a prize to someone here, Fitz. Yeah, I, I. Look, who do we go here? What's the problem? I actually, well, Geordie's in a bit of a dilemma at the moment. And I think yeah. we need to help him out and get. Do you want to take the boys just to take your mind off things to the Sydney Comedy Festival, George? It's all yours. Oh, thanks, guys. No worries, thanks, buddy. It's back with its biggest year yet. Choose from over 300 shows at sydneycomedyfest.com.au. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. <laughs> around it. Don't be afraid of it. <sighs> Get over here and gather. Give it a sniff. Give it a tap on the bum, guys. It's riddle time. Is, Is that the first cattle? riddle? I don't know what I'm talking oh, about. Yeah. I've lost the plot. Um, here it's we go, guys. It's been a big week. It's been a huge you. week for everyone, Kate. For everyone. Uh, here we go, the first riddle, guys. I need you thinking. Okay. A slender body, a tiny eye. No matter what happens, I never cry. What am I? <laughs> Kate, you know this. You should get this. It's right up your alley. Very up her alley. Oh, my God. Her alley has never been it's further too, up. It's something from the kitchen, obviously. No. Here we go again. Go again. A slender go body, again. a tiny eye. No matter what happens, I never cry. What am I? 
Slender, slender body. body. Very slender. In fact, you're the human version of one. Um, Ryan James. A chopstick. Nope. Mm. <laughs> Ryan the chopstick. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry mate. A bean? When, I, when I look at you, I just bean, think you're a... pole. Spaghetti on steroids. Um, slender a body. Knife. A, a tiny splay. eye. No matter what happens, uh, I never fork. cry. What am I? Oh! The and eye of a needle. Bang, Kate Ritchie. Yes. Just a little bit. Or a, a needle, yeah. Yes, a needle, a needle. One to Kate Ritchie. Here we go, guys, as we move through to our second riddle for the morning. What question can you ask someone all day long, always get a completely different answer, and yet all the answers could be correct? <laughs> what time is it? Kate Ritchie. Have we got what time is it? Just Taylor, that's the Taylor Swift. Thing. Oh, no, yeah, I did that, that for Taylor you, Swift Jess. Was it? <laughs> what, what's that at the start of style? Style. Yes. What time, what time is, is it? it? Midnight. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. That was oh, part of that. Feel, feel like I'm back on the eras too. You're right, Fitz. Oh, I'm in Wembley. Only. Okay, here we go. Guys. Third riddle could be a fourth in it today. When I'm born, I fly. When I'm alive, I lay. When I'm dead, I run. What am I? Oh, you're an egg. No, you're not. Yeah, Ooh, when, it, when you're a dead, well, you're you run a runny egg, you die, you come out of the shell. You're offering that, me an answer that's that not is, correct. That's the correct answer. No, is it's not right. the correct answer. Right. Nope. Just a little bit. What time is it? Uh, midnight. <laughs> Here we go. When I'm born... No, no, you're not an egg, mate. Okay, am, go. I, am I an egg? <laughs> humpty Dumpty. You're not, not an egg. No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, not. you said it, Jess. When I'm born, I fly. When I'm alive, I lay. When I'm dead, I run. What am I? You're an egg. You're not an egg, mate. <laughs> I, I, said I, no. I, I bet you egg is yeah. a better answer. It's yeah. not. I bet you it is. Fried egg. Poached egg. Is it a style of egg? When I'm born, I fly. When? Because when the baby is born out of oh. the egg, it flies Chickens into a bird. Chickens don't fly, mate. So, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, the chickens aren't the only things that have eggs. Ooh, hawks have there, eggs. Whip. Hawks yeah. do do that. Pigeons she's have got, eggs. Oh, she's, she's got, got you there, she's mate. Got ah. there. Got not, yeah. It's not the answer, Kate it's not, Ritchie. Uh, it's not time, is it? No, time it's flying. not. No, okay. I've already done a time reference yeah, one time. Yeah, I just thought maybe what it was... What time a... is it? Midnight. Oh, the gosh. When I'm born, I fly. Okay, sorry. Let me just clear, okay. cleanse my clear mind of eggs. Because all I can think of is... E- oh, stop. No, stop. Cleanse stop. chickens. Yes. Eggs. Here we go. No more eggs. When I'm born, I fly. In fact, I more float. Bubbles. What? When I'm alive, I lay. When I'm dead, I run. What am I? Die. A balloon. Die. No. What runs? Water. Bubbles. Rain. Uh, a drink in a glass. Water. I'm on never the right. Been closer. It's something to do oh. with a liquid. Is it a liquid? Rain. I feel. Well, it's, it. it's a form of precipitation, but it's not rain. Fog. No. Snow. 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 Bang, Kate Ritchie. Get Say the colours again. Egg. Egg was white. Uh, when, yeah, I'm I, when I'm born, I fly, so I'm coming down oh. from the sky, and then I lay on the ground, and then I melt, so I run. That's where you tipped you off because you got the water. Oh, egg. What egg am I? Egg. It's not egg. Egg, egg would have well been a better Well done, everybody. Egg. Happy Friday. That's riddle time. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Got a little piece of uh, information for you this morning. Could mm-hmm. be could be a community service announcement. Yep. Um, and I'm looking around the studio here. I mean, generally we're quite clean. I mean, it, it is Friday, so we've got papers and things all over the place. But yeah. as far as germs go, I think we're looking all right. Um, in in the past, they they say things like, or I know I've believed that you shouldn't bite your fingernails. Um, you shouldn't lick a toilet seat. Don't lick yeah, a toilet seat. I, I yeah. learned the hard way. That one. Did you, no, you I the couldn't get brush. rid of that saw for nine months. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whatever you do. And maybe even like handrails and stuff mm. in shopping centre. But how about this piece of information? It'll blow your mind. Phones are six times dirtier than a toilet seat. Oh. Um, a study has revealed that over half, um, at 52%, of phones are heavily contaminated with microbes as a, as a quarter of a people admit that they never clean their device. Yeah. And not only do they not clean their device... I mean, you guys admit 
Are you taking your phone into the toilet or into Not as dirty? much as you do. You go in there quite often and you're playing all sorts of games. I don't play on, games. I don't even know how to play games. On, sitting on the toot-toot. No, and when I go into the toilet, if I've come down the hallway from the office, yeah. it might come into the toilet with me, meaning like the bigger area of the uh, toilet yeah. kind of, but it goes straight onto the shelf, yep. which I don't think is clean anyway. No. But it's not like I'm putting it on the cistern. Um, well, six it is. In, six Six in ten people confessed to using their phones in the bathroom, and swab tests revealed that one f- one phone in this test had five hundred and fifty eight percent more germs or the little Yuck. microbes than a toilet. But aren't they your level. germs? I always I it's feel safe germs. that they're my germs. But I don't take... know about that because aren't you putting your phone up and down and germs hanging around in your ha- in your hand? Do, do you ever do this one, hand like where you might sit down on the toilet, but then you'll put your phone on the sink, just on the edge of the sink, the corner of the sink mm-hmm. that might be in the bathroom as well? There'd be germs on that. No, you know what's germs. really germy is in the, your pocket. Mm, and then it falls, then it falls out. out of your oh, well, you don't have to sit down to wee. No, no, yeah. Because so, you can put it in your pocket and then. It and falls then, onto the floor oh, and then it's got wee on it on the floor. No way I'm putting my phone anyway down a cubicle. Hmm? No way near. On the floor. Well, Tommy, they. It, it's. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> well, I heard as well that there's quite a few bacteria on the police tape that they have to put up after you go into the toilet, Tom. <laughs> Very I good. didn't know what you were doing. Disaster zone. I can only use that. Hazardous material. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, well, I had to wear a hazmat suit oh, just to go in there in the cubicle oh, through the other day. That's not what this finished. is about. COVID's finished, Tommy. you got a mask My on My gosh. Oh, My gosh. It's one huge bacteria. Oh, right. oh, let's clean it up. <laughs> Fitz in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.